it's Lotly and Blue and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing a rainbow cut crease and showing you how to achieve this look. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. So I thought today would be fun to do a super in-depth tutorial on how to do a rainbow cut crease because around here I love to play with colorful eyeshadow. So my lid is from the Drawer Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair and I'm going to start out with the Spectra palette from Gourmet Girls Cosmetics. Love them so much. I love this palette. I love the Spook palette, that time of the year palette I believe. They're, they're everything, every palette that I have ordered from them has been amazing. So I was like let's use them and blend bunny together because i love them both so anyway i'm talking too much <laughs> i'm gonna start out with the makeup shack t66 brush and i'm gonna go into the shade wine tasting which is a gorgeous wine shade so i'm gonna use this palette for the red orange and yellow blend of the rainbow i'm gonna take wine tasting with the makeup shack t66 brush and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start right about the arch of my brow into the crease and just pat it down and I'm not super concerned with how it looks I just want to get my shape built up so I'm gonna take it and follow the shape of my eye the crease and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna flick it upwards and outwards about like that and then I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on just a little bit. So I've cleaned that brush off and I'm going to go into the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lure Palette and the shade, the deep, a gorgeous, gorgeous dark blue shade. With this shade, I'm going to take it and just start from about the inner corner of my eye. And start to pack it into the crease and work my way up towards the bread. I'm really just focusing on patting it right now. And I'm going to take it and kind of pat it on to wine tasting just a little bit. And they blend together beautifully. For cut crease looks, I really, really like small, tiny brushes. I feel like I have the most control with them. And I like to hold it to where the tip of the brush is kind of pushing into the bend of my hand. And while I'm blending and patting the shade on, I'm not using very much pressure at all. I'm just packing it on there, getting the shape built up, and trying to figure out if I'm going to need to touch anything up, but mainly just focusing on the shape. So now I'm going to take the Blend Bunny Cosmetics B2 brush and I'm going to start to just gently, very, very easily with the lightest amount of pressure, start to diffuse these shades. After I kind of gently blend this out, I'm going to clean the brush off before I blend out the balloon. Now to blend out the blue, I'm using the lightest amount of pressure and I'm kind of really just going back and forth and then bring it up and go back and forth and it really just diffuses the shade so you notice how when you pack it on it's just like a strip or a line of eyeshadow and it's super super pigmented so when you're doing so when you're blending it out and you're using the lightest amount of pressure, it will kind of disperse the pigment. And that is what I call diffusing because it makes it lighter and a little less harsh and gets ready for the next shades. So I have the Makeup Shack T66 brush cleaned off and I'm gonna go into the next shade from the Spectra palette, which I'm gonna use the shade Lilu. 
that is this gorgeous orange shade right here and right where that shade is light and diffused I'm just gonna pat this down now I'm gonna go into a more lighter red shade here in just a little bit to kind of blend it a little more but right now I'm just focusing on patting down the orange I'm really just gonna gently pop that on pat it down and it looks so cute together so I'm gonna clean that brush off real quick and I'm gonna go into true love which is a beautiful red shade and I'm gonna take a little bit of it and right where it's really diffused here with wine tasting I'm just gonna gently go back and forth the baby blender room very 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 light pressure you don't want it to go up too far and take away from the orange so I'm just gonna take it and just gently kind of blend it out back and forth you want it to feel like a little tickle on your skin you don't want to feel itchy or scratchy and you don't want to feel it like drag drag because if you feel it I'm going to show you but if you like use a lot of pressure and just do like that and drag it you're, you're not you're, you're going to kind of not have the pigment that you want because I can see that I did that and I feel like it took away so I'm just going to touch that up but try to use the lightest amount of pressure you don't need much okay and I am a shaking mess right now I've had so much coffee today I have been struggling to stay awake it is finally a little sunny I just see the sun creeping into my window over here but it has been rainy and cold for the last few days and I'm like it's almost May in Arkansas and it's cold like <laughs> it's been something so I'm gonna clean off the Makeup Shack T66 brush and go into the Lore palette. And I'm gonna take a little bit of 332 meters. And I'm gonna, right here where we left off with the, with the deep being diffused, I'm just gonna gently just pat that on. Gently, gently, gently right where that shade is diffused now i'm going to take my brush and go back and forth just a little bit that way it'll kind of blend itself there and i'm going to take just a tiny tiny bit of mermaid lagoon and just start to kind of stamp it on right where we left off with c nymph or 332 meters. My brain is on Sea Nymph because Sea Nymph and Sea Foam are two of my absolute favorite shades in this palette. So I'm really just patting it. So I'm gonna go back to the Spectra palette and I'm gonna use the shade Safa, which is one of the most fun yellows. It's like super bright. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna knock over it everything on my desk <laughs> I'm gonna use the blend bunny cosmetics b2 brush I'm gonna make sure that I have it nice and cleaned off and I'm gonna take sci-fi and I'm just gonna gently start to blend out the orange I'm gonna do tiny back and forth motions and I'm gonna take it out just a tiny bit farther so I got it and I'm just gonna bring it outwards. Back and forth, should feel like a little tickle, just a little tickle. About like that. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that Makeup Shack T66 brush and a little bit of Lilu. And Bring it back just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette 
and I'm gonna go into Luna and Prey. But I'm gonna take Luna first to blend out our blue and green side on the inner bit of our eye towards our nose. I'm just gonna gently, gently diffuse the shade. Now, I don't remember if I said that was a Blend Bunny Cosmetics B2 brush. I feel like I did, but my brain is all over the place today. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of Luna and start to give it a nice little baby blend. I love, love, love blending out colors with pastel shades. I feel like they just go so beautifully together. So I'm just doing little baby blends back and forth and we are going to lose a little bit of the green and the yellow when I get to it but I'm going to go back in and touch it up just a little bit. But I wanted a nice and diffused shade. I want it to look absolutely seamless. So I've cleaned that brush off and I'm going to go into Prey and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm in focus mode, so I'm like trying to bring the mirror up as far as I can to see, but also I don't want to get the mirror like right where you cannot even see what I'm doing. But I'm just taking it and I'm just gently, gently, gently blending it and diffusing it. Okay, it's all, all blended. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little bit more of, ooh, of Sci-Fi with that same brush and just start to kind of pat it on to bring it back. Little baby pats. Tiny, tiny pats. How's everybody? I know the video where I did the in-depth halo eye, my vibes were a little low but I filmed that the night that made seven months since I lost Shemark and that whole week was just so incredibly tough like I didn't expect for it to be so rough and I was just trying to keep my mind busy so I apologize for being sad <laughs> okay looky there that's so cute and I'm going to go into Mermaid Lagoon and touch it up. And I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T66 brush. So, all kind of all that to say, I do want to know how you're doing. And I hope that you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to take a little more Mermaid Lagoon and just kind of pat it and just bring it back and forth. Uh, this week, I've tried to make it my goal to really film as much as possible because I'm also feeling a bit burnt out. But I feel like when I lost him, I didn't give myself a lot of time to not do makeup and stuff like that. I really just, I just jumped into makeup more to keep my mind busy. So I've been trying to pre-film a lot this week so that I can kind of just get everything edited and then take a little break and craft and see if that can help me to feel better and just maybe take a day to where I don't get out of bed because I never let myself just stay in bed. I try really, really hard to be productive, but I'm tired. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I like to keep busy. I'm going to take the B2 brush from Blend Bunny Cosmetics and a little bit more of Luna. And if I take a little bit of a break, I can think of looks to do and feel a little more refreshed. Like, think of them whenever I, like, feel. So, I don't have to kind of, like, force myself to create because I kind of think that that's why I feel burned out. Because I'm just, like, I don't want to repeat a look that I've already done, but it's, like, how do I, like, do something? I don't know. I just, like, try to think and... Like, hey, what, what am I going to do today? I'm taking a little bit more. 332 meters. I'm just kind of bringing that back 
because it did lose a little bit. Back and forth once you'll wipe the motions. If I take a break, then I will still be able to have some content. Tutorials, pictures, everything like that. Now this is the D, but I'm just bringing it back because I'm about to carve out my crease. I'm going to take some micellar water on a Q-tip and just clean the crease up and then carve it out with, with some Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair. So I'm just going to get, I have a, I got a little bottle, just like a regular like flip top bottle and put some micellar water in it. <laughs> that way I can put it on my desk, but I'm going to carve out my crease, clean it up. Alright, so my lid is carved out and ready to go. So I'm going to take this Elf and J Kiss a J5 brush and I'm going to go into the Lure palette and I'm going to take the shade Tentacles and I'm going to start from the outer corner of my eye. So I'm kind of lining this up with my waterline. So the outer corner of my eye, I'm just going to kind of angle from underneath and bring it up and angle it. So even I'll put some eyeshadow on like how I'm going to do it. So I take it and focus it and then bring it up into a wing. It can be a little messy because I am going to go in and clean that up. So then I'm going to connect the wing. Bring it into the lash line. And focus on really patting that purple down. take it just really build it up so about like this all right I'm gonna go into the spectra palette again I'm sorry I had a phone call while I was carving my crease and um it was a little unexpected, so I'm just trying to try to reconfigure be back in makeup mode so I'm gonna take Futuristic, which is such a beautiful hot pink shade. I love it. I'm going to take that to blend out tentacles with that same brush. So I'm going to take it and gently bring it. And I'm going to extend it a little bit farther than tentacles. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth with it. Very, very light pressure. And I feel like for doing more of a shadow wing, it's so easy to do with like a tiny little angled brush. These shades blend beautifully together. I'm gonna switch back over to the Lore palette and I'm gonna take the Blend Bunny Cosmetics B2 brush. I'm gonna clean it off and I'm gonna go into Baited. And what I'm gonna do with Baited, which is like the pastel pink row, the pink or the pastel shade I'm gonna bring it outwards a little bit more to kind of connect it with that cut crease and then blend out futuristic with it and just blend and I'm gonna take this a little bit farther than I I take in futuristic that way it's nice and blended and gradient but I'm really gonna focus on bringing this kind of upwards towards the crease back and forth back and forth I'm just gonna pat that on wing it out about like that now I'm going to take some micellar water on a Q-tip. I thought I had one set out so I didn't make so much noise. But <laughs> take some micellar water on a Q-tip. And I'm just going to clean up my shadow wing. So what I'm going to do is right where I kind of have that extra right there from showing like 
how I was gonna angle it. I'm gonna clean that up. And I'm gonna angle that upwards. I'm gonna take the brush, clean it up. Super cute. All right. I am gonna try my very best to talk through this. Fingers crossed, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of the Devolt Beauty Lounge Monster Liner and it says good things can and will happen for me. And it's a cute pastel purple. I'm just gonna add a little bit of it as a liner in the crease and bring it up just for a little extra something. I found these brushes on Amazon. It was like a pack of three or four and they got like the sparkly handle and they're different sizes like lengths and I really like them. So that's what I'm gonna use to add a little bit of liner into the crease here before I add some sparkles because I must have sparkles. But I promise that soon I'll try to do an all matte blend with like no sparkles. So if you have any ideas on any color combinations or anything like that that you'd like to see, please let me know. Okay, I'm just talking so that I can, <laughs> can try to get out of doing this, but here we go. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start from the inner bit of the crease. Pull that base. And I'm only gonna take it to right here. To about the arch of my brow. About like that. <laughs> For my sparkles, I'm gonna dip into some Terra Moons Cosmetic Shades. I'm gonna take Lunar Spectrum because it is almost like a rainbow. I rarely do neutral looks, and last summer I did a neutral look and then popped that one on, and it looked like a rainbow on my lid, so I was really happy. So I'm gonna take this Doe Color number 14 brush and Lunar Spectrum and just pop it on the lid. And I'm gonna have it meet that liner and take it over towards baited and then just work it all over the lid. But I am gonna keep towards my lash line uh, clean, like no shimmer, because I'm gonna add a little bit of liner and I don't want the shimmer to come through. I feel like it's been a minute since I played with an iridescent multi-chrome. It's beautiful. I love this one. I used to use this for like a highlighter or my brow bone highlight or my inner corner highlight because it just goes so beautifully with everything. Speaking of brow bone highlight, I'm going to take Time Shift from Terra Moons Cosmetics and pop it up towards the arch of my brow and just kind of blend it towards the eyeshadow. Cause I wanna glow, 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 glow. And then for my inner corner highlighter, I'm gonna take Space Baby. Cause I love it, it's one of my favorites. Just pop that onto that inner corner. Kind of blend it with Lunar Spectrum. All right, so I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I am excited with how it turned out. I used the Kama Rainbow Highlighter. I used the NYX Submersive, Subversive Sociolite Lip Liner and the Gerard Cosmetics Underground Lipstick with the Blum Bunny Cosmetics Lip Oil and Ripe. I'm sorry, my brain is all over the place. I, um, I'm not gonna talk about it on camera until I know some more things, but I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much. I just wanted to, show off the look and i want to thank you for watching please let me know what you'd like to see next but i want to thank you so much for watching and i hope that i'll see you in the next one bye